busy morning in Sydney Harbour. All the ferries are back and forth. After our New Zealand cruise, we spent the day in Sydney, Australia before embarking on our trip to the South Pacific. Our first port of call is Noumea, the capital of the French territory of New Caledonia. John toured the local supermarket with its beautiful array of fresh fish and baked goods, as only the French can do. I took a tour of the Museum of the Second World War. Noumea was not a battleground during the war, but did serve as a support base, airfield, and hospital. Island in Fiji, where we had the day on the beach. I'm gonna walk on the thermos. Okay. And, oh, there he goes. Very good. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Let me another one. There we go. All righty, good. Oh, beautiful. All right. The parrot, you look okay too, but the parrot looks great. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's their lessons.
Our next stop was back to New Caledonia on the island of Lifu, where we toured a vanilla plantation. Yes, now I give you the speech about the vanilla. So first of all, vanilla is not native in New Caledonia. It has been introduced in the past by the pastor McFarlane, Samuel McFarlane. On the island of Latoka in Fiji, we visited the South Sea Orchid Gardens. This is a private property of the Burness family, and it boasts an interesting collection of antiques, photographs, and bric-a-brac dating back to colonial times, when the owner's family emigrated from Scotland. The beautiful garden features one of Fiji's largest collection of orchids. One of the Burgess family's neighbors was Raymond Burr, the famous actor who retired here to raise orchids. Tour guide Bill, who looked suspiciously like a former president, took us to Nandi where we visited the local department store to pick up some local trinkets. We visited the village of Sabeto where we were welcomed with the local kava ceremony and enjoyed their beautiful songs and dances. Bula is Fijian for welcome.
On the beautiful village green, I found a plaque commemorating the fact that the town was built on the streets and foundations of structures left by American forces during World War II. Then you have the post office. The post office here is also a bank. So you have the BCI bank and then you have the post office if you wanted to open a bank account here and if you could. And, um, and the next building over is the town hall ah. where the high chief is the mayor of this island. So in both. Yeah. This grotto is where Queen Hortense hid as an eight-year-old girl from neighboring tribes who wanted to kill her and take over the throne. Well, exactly. If uh, people were following them, then she would get killed. So they would bring it to that hole, and so they would still stay alert of everything that was going on. And um, she also had fresh water. I mean, this stream used to be fresher than this. Mm -hmm. uh, now I don't recommend drinking the water. Stop wanting to kill her. So what he did is that he arranged a marriage for her with her first cousin. His name was Samuel Vendégou, so she would keep the name in the family, and it would be a man instead of a woman, and um, people would come down. So actually, he did settle everyone down, and she was able to come out after six months. Of course, she didn't get married after, well, I mean, when she came out, she was only eight now. And, uh, but she got married when she was 22. She married her cousin. Of course, she had full power, even if her cousin um, was the high chief. And she was actually that woman who went and spoke to the French uh, to arrange the dividing of the island. Because she was the only woman that could speak French and understand the French when they came. So, so she was able to save her people at that time. And now, after a while, she, of course, she never had any children with her cousin, but she adopted lots of her nephews the name going and uh, after a while she decided to retire so she gave the title to one of her nephew and she went back to Saint Louis in uh, the main island to see Marie de la Croix one of the nuns that was with her when she was small and she actually passed away there but her body was taken back to the yellow plant and is buried behind the main church we'll be visiting later oh. we won't go see her grave because it's more up in the mountain <laughs> At a special Mariner's Luncheon, John received an award for his many days aboard Holland America Cruises. Mm -hmm.